morning, guys. It's uh, Remembrance Day today, November 11th. Uh, it's still early in the morning here, but couldn't sleep anymore, so hey, it's uh, kind of one of those days. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of too bad that, uh, you know, that saying, you know, never forget. You know, remember, you know, Remembrance Day when it, you know, never forget. There's some people forgetting, man. Jeez, we've we've lost. I mean, 98, 98 soldiers over there, man. Jesus. Anyway, so at some point today, take some time to remember things. Eh? So, what I'm gonna do here today? Uh, is I'm going I'm doing a couple things. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that up. I'm making movement trays for my lizard man. But I noticed I'm missing one of my uh, blowgun guys. Say, eh? so uh, here, just a minute here. Let me pick. Oh, hey, excellent! Didn't fall all the way. Got to compete with a washing machine going on over here so let me find one of these uh, bigger guys okay so what I did on these guys try bootlegs method here start zooming up Aww. telephoto slow telephoto really slow okay. focus there so what I've done is I've drilled off or cut off all their bows on these guys, various guys, say, eh? and I've given them blowgun, say, eh? little pieces of piping that I had. And then I've, you know, putting green stuff around for decorations and stuff like that, eh? So that's one of these old, you know, skink warrior guys, say. Eh? I did them like that. Uh, the other thing I did with one of them is, like this guy here, I took his sword. And I pounded it into sort of a, a post day and he's holding the banner there. And I've given him a book into a slightly different angle. And uh, here's the other two skink guys. Just a minute. Nope, that's here. here. So, these guys, they're the easiest. You just take the bow and cut off the you know, the front part and then the back part, you gotta just kind of whittle off the piece, eh? Hey? And then you drill your hole and put your little piece of piping down there. Shh, instant blowgun. Looks better than the guys that just cut off the back half, eh? Hey? No, and then these guys are a little bit harder, eh? Hey? Because they've got their uh, bow going across their belly. So the, this piece in here on their, uh, it's, you know, that's skirting their loincloth there you have to whoops, hold on back we've lost focus you have to do a fair amount of whittling hey along there to make it look right hey this piece here you can just cut off on the back half here but this piece here it takes a fair amount of whittling see there i'll show you with this green guy see same guy so the front the front half there you have to that takes a fair amount of whittling Anyways, so while we, let me back up here, uh, wrong way, so I just, yeah, that was close, <laughs> uh, I discovered that I was missing one, but uh, I don't have any more of that little piping stuff, uh, I do know on a couple of these here I used a solid brass rod, eh, so, anyways. This guy here I've already prepared. I've cut off his his bow. <laughs> Can't see shit. And because I don't have a piece of pipe that small, I'm going to use a piece of guitar string. So I've cut off just a little chunk of guitar string, and this is what would this be? A, I don't know, I think it's about the third string. Hey, it's a wound string. So what I do is I take this 
God dang it. Okay, we'll zoom you back in again. Hold on. No. I will try getting it to focus on my shirt. Okay, there we go. Okay. Did that work? Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking the winding off of the the wire. Okay. Near, near, near. Can we do it at this angle? Yes. So what I do is I get off a little piece of it, and then I hold on to that, and then I loosen it, you know, by you know, sort of like basically uncoiling it. So you can see right here, you can see I've twisted a little bit too much, hey, so you got to be careful with that. So this piece up here now is kind of springy. It's loose on the, the wire. Otherwise, you can't pull it off, eh? So now kind of hold that and spin the rest of it, you know, and get it, try to get it, you know, loose on there okay and then you should be able to it'll be kind of hard to keep this in focus here in there, in there, in there, in there. you should be able to grab that and pull that off theoretically maybe with a needle nose oops Yeah, well, it's not the easiest. Okay, so I'm trying to loosen it up here with needle nose. Could be that I, uh, you know, when you cut it, hey, lots of times you wire, it doesn't really cut, it sort of crimps it flat. So, I may just need starting down here. There we go. You just need a little, whoops. You just need a little piece of it started there to get it loose. And the same thing, and then just kind of uncoil it. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But I mean, if you're trying to make it, so what I'm doing here is I'm making a barbed wire, miniature barbed wire. But I want really small barbed wire. Okay. And I also want the, the middle piece here, because it's a nice piece of spring type steel I want to use it for the blow gun for this skink that needs one so. now you can pick up a, one of these guitar strings for well, I don't know, a buck something like that a buck and a quarter depends there's brass and there's a steel wound right and then you can get into fancy flat things I mean you just want a basic string hey? If you know a musician, tell him to save you the pieces that he cuts off the end when he puts on new strings. Okay, there. See? So now, this is really nice, strong. You can hear it, eh? That's good, strong steel for doing things. Like if you're pinning your guys, 